Good morning, New 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, I'm going to need you to punch that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. We got these videos every single day, guys, except for yesterday. Sorry about that. But up on the screen, we have our Patreon subscribers, AJ, Bread Garlic House, Matt Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, the Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, Maryland Crypto, Boost Way, and Brady Adams, Farouz Din, Joel Jimenez, and Kyle Bachi. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support. Got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. I hope you enjoy the show today, guys. We have some amazing news coming out of Coinbase for XRP holders. We're going to get into that a little bit. Talk a little bit about Cardano and then hop right into the VJ news. I hope you enjoy the show. So, to all the Coinbase and all the XRP army, congratulations. Coinbase will support the Spark token airdrop to XRP holders. This is very, very good. So, if you did not know, XRP had a fork. The Spark token will be released and it will be airdropped to people who have the XRP wallet. Uh, so, you don't have to do anything if you just hold XRP you will be getting a X, you will be getting a airdrop so this is awesome free money pretty much i mean if i like when i get the airdrop i'm immediately dumping it so i can get me some nice uh, shekels <laughs> nice profit coinbase announced saturday that it plans to support an upcoming airdrop that has been seen as a factor in boosting xrp's price in recent weeks the San Francisco-based exchange said in a blog post that Coinbase customers with XRP balances as of midnight on December 12th will receive Spark tokens from Coinbase at a later date. The amount of Spark tokens you receive um, depends on how much XRP you had at your wallet account at snapshot time. Coinbase wrote, detailed on the airdrop, will be posted in about a week, the company spokesperson told Coindesk. Spark is the native token of the Flare network, a system to bring Ethereum-like functionality to the XRP ledger. Flare's token, Spark, is created through what may be the first ever utility fork, whereby the origin network, in this case XRP ledger, benefits through increased utility. The team behind the smart contract project wrote in August. And XRP in the market as a whole is up nearly 10% over the last 24 hours as of press time. Supporting new networks and their projects is important, not only for the meeting of the customer's interest, but also the continued growth of the crypto ecosystem, Coinbase spokesperson said. I don't have to tell you how bullish this is, guys. Coinbase, one of the largest uh, exchanges that will be supporting the Spark token. So congratulations to all you XRP hodlers out there um you will be receiving a nice little sum of change for your patience and this is definitely something we need to be keeping an eye out for moving on all right guys we are on to the cardano news um cardano to launch hard fork but before next major development phase so with these hard fork combinator events that occur in Cardano, um, oh, and yesterday, guys, if you did not swap your delegation and you're in a saturated stake pool, a stake pool with more than 64 million ADA total, you are currently losing rewards. Please move your state. Please move your delegation to a non um, a non saturated stake pool. You know, I personally recommend Bloom Pool. They always have really high rewards. The fees are kind of high, but, um, you know, the guy, he actually comes on YouTube. He tells you what's going on with the network. And, you know, I can see him and I know, you know, like, oh, OK, that's the guy who I'm delegating to. So it, it, it gives us a, another layer of trust. That's why I delegate with him this is not sponsored i really want to do like sponsored <laughs> cardano delegation videos but you know not too many people know me in the cardano ecosystem but that's okay um 
So yes, guys, if you have not moved by yesterday, you are currently losing rewards. Please, if you're a delegator for Cardano and you're in a saturated stake pool, move your reward, move your delegation. Uh, so with that said, IOHK, the development team behind the uh, public blockchain project Cardano said it is set to launch a hard fork in December as a part of the transition to the third developmental stage of the protocol dubbed Gogan. Yes, finally. The third phase will be focused on the protocol's integration of smart contracts after building Cardano Foundation and decentralizing its system in the first two phases. Hard fork will introduce token locking mechanism, one of the most significant new functions to the main net, and it will be it will enable network smart contracts to support certain conditions such as making users hold tokens for a fixed period of time in order to complete the contract. That's actually great for voting. Um, so that's a little bit of a Voltaire implementation as well. Um, th there's a lot of good stuff going on in Cardano, guys. If you have not been following along with Cardano, things are moving pretty fast. While only having a slight impact on the actual ledger, the token locking function will prepare the platform for smart contracts in the creations of assets that run on Cardano, Kevin Hammond, the software engineer, said. In addition, this upgrade will bring custom tokens to the network besides the native ADA token. Cardano stable coin is on its way. You know I'll be on that like right or rice. I'll be trying to farm that yield like it's, you know what I'm saying? Some coffee beans from producers market, baby. Let's go. I'm so excited. I can't wait until this. Uh, there's going to be multiple hard forks. And the good thing is Cardano itself, like IOHK is going to have its own products of DeFi. That's going to be super exciting. I can't wait to see what, what they cook up. I can't wait to see, you know, how much interest we can earn on these like assets and this ecosystem is going to be absolutely insane. That's why I say I have not sold a single VET or Cardano since learning about it because we're built different, man. We have a long term out outcome here, a long term outlook. And uh, things are moving uh, pretty fast now. So this is exciting. Um, I will keep you up to date on this. And without further ado, guys, I know you're itching to get to this V trade news, so let's do it. All right, guys. So looking at the VTHO burn, yesterday was pretty low. It was a quiet weekend, not too much stuff going on. We do have uh, actually some pretty major news breaking today. We'll get to that in a second. Today we're burning a uh, about 5.8 million, so it's a, a bit more than yesterday. Um, weekends are typically slow, so. And looking at the 24-hour chart today, guys, we are up. We are up today about 8% on the day. Things are looking really, really good. Things are looking really, really spicy. Um, this is what we want to see almost getting to that two cent mark have not seen any trolls in the comment section for a long while have you guys forgotten about me oh no you were just wrong and now you're hiding I understand that's okay I'll still be here guys even if we move sideways for four five six months I'll still be here making v chain videos and you can go ahead and troll if you want but eventually, with all the adoption, with all the enterprise adoption, with with how happy customers are to use the VeChain Thor blockchain, you know, this price metric, it, it's going to go up eventually, guys. Like, that's why I'm not worried about it, because I know this number is going to go up. You know, this number does not val validate my investment here, all right? What validates my investment is this story that we're going to talk about right now. Let's get on with it. VJ Foundation posts the enterprise of Singapore and Singapore University of Social Sciences has launched the blockchain for trade and connectivity network. VChain is a founding member of this regional supply chain initiative and the joint 
memorandum of understanding was stored on the VCHA blockchain. This is what butters my biscuits, guys. This is what gets me up in the morning when it comes to VeChain, because this is what's going to get us to the promised land. Not speculation, not, you know, oh, when Lambo, when Moon, when price increase, when coin burn to make the price go up. Like, come on, guys, we got to think long term. No, you don't really want to hear it. And I know it grinds your gears every time I say it, but that does not change the fact that it's true. New blockchain for trade and connect ne connectivity network will assure reliable supply chains and strengthen trust in Singapore as the global trade hub. And who is it powered by? The VeChain Thor blockchain. That's just another country hopping on board. Now you tell me how that's how VeChain is a S coin now. Tell me about how it's not going anywhere now. Tell me how I'm misleading people, quote unquote, because I'm talking about VeChain, not taking payment from anybody, by the way. I'm not taking payment from anybody. Like, I'm just doing this because I'm a part of the community and people want to see it, but I'm misleading people. When we get news like this every day, please, somebody go down below and comment all this news, no price movement. Please do that right now because you look stupid. Like, stop thinking about price. Or you'll be a much better investor. <sighs> COVID-19 has accelerated the need for Singapore to generate new digital relationships with the world. As data, financial and trade flows increasingly become digitized, there is a corresponding need to secure uh, and trustworthy ways to transact. Singapore University of Social Sciences has worked with the Enterprise Singapore ESG to launch the blockchain for trade and connectivity network, a unifying platform that allows blockchains and other technologies to operate together. This initiative is supported by National Research Foundation. All right, guys. So, like, this is what gets me up in the morning. This is what I like to see. Not some superficial price, short term price action. Okay. Think about it like this, man. Remember what I said a couple of months ago? You're not going to care about the price of VeChain back in June. Do you care about the price of VeChain in June? No, you don't. Do you care about the price of VeChain when it was down 0.2 cents? 0 0.02 cents? No, you don't. And you're not going to care about the price of VeChain on this day, six months in the future. You're going to care about stuff like this. Just grinds my gears, the trolls, and they haven't been around. But I know as soon as we have, you know, a couple of weeks of trading sideways, they're going to rear their ugly heads back out. And I'm going to have to smack them back down just to get, you know, it is what it is. It's part of the job. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready for you trolls. V-Chain and Pharmaceuticals. Thank you to Eisenreich. Please give this man a follow. Give Ron Dalton a follow, too. He's been doing good work. The digital medical field is constantly changing with the COVID-19 pandemic. Medical institutions and enterprises can rethink their strategies in a product service innovation and pave their way for long-term development. So we have <clears throat> Ting Min here, blockchain solutions expert. And he writes, blockchain technologies can uh, help pharmaceutical companies achieve supply chain visibility, achieve the upstream and downstream information transparent, efficient, efficient collaboration, greatly reduce time delay and human error, control costs, labor, precision lock, the responsible party, and if necessary, to reduce losses through traceability of the drug's full life cycle. Blockchain technology can help pharmaceutical companies enhance their insight into clinical use, thereby shortening drug development time and costs. Given that, time, given that the digital medical field is constantly changing with the development of the new crown pneumonia uh, epidemic, uh, institutional medical institutions and enterprises can rethink their strategies, product and innovation, core organizational functions and working methods and pave the way for long-term development and i would agree 
VeChain is at the forefront here. And I hope that we could get some announcements that VeChain is doing cold chain logistics of some kind for, you know, the vaccine. The vaccine is going to be coming out soon. And we we do have these things in place. We just need to get the contracts to work them out. And lastly here, guys. So um, the Singapore FinTech Festival. Thank you to Eisenreich. Uh, Zhu Zhang, chief scientist, will be attending, will, has been invited to attend and deliver a speech to the Singapore FinTech Festival. VeChain will highlight a sustainable blockchain solutions for food and safety solutions at an online virtual booth. And someone on Twitter, I forgot your name, brother. I'm so sorry. Thank you. But he, he was telling me that this was actually a big deal, this uh, Singapore FinTech Festival, and that there's actually, you know, VeChain is actually on the news out there in Singapore. So this is a very big deal, guys. Uh, I will keep you updated as more updates uh, come out. Um, huge news today in the VeChain ecosystem. Hopefully, you know, we can power through two cents on our way up to three and hopefully you know, start the road to 18, but that's not, that's, 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 that's way down the road there. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that today. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show here up on my screen. We have our Patreon subscribers, AJ, Brett, Garlic House, Matt Harris, Sergio, Lassie, Nielsen, American Home Remedies.com, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, Marilyn, Crypto Boost, Wayne, Brady Adams, Farouz, Dan, Joel Jimenez, and Kyle Bocci. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support, guys. I would not be doing this show without you. I really appreciate it, and it's because of you. I'm one step closer to getting out of wage slavery, guys. I can feel it. I just need VJ in the mood, and then I'm out of wage slavery. But me being out of wage slavery will not stop me from making these videos. Unless VJ goes to like $18, and then I don't think anybody will care anymore. Um, it'll just be insanity and mass FOMO. Up on the screen here, we have our Bitcoin block having rewards, uh, countdown. We have 1,247 days and looking at the markets, guys, things are moving upwards. Bitcoin is kind of consolidating, but it looks like it's bleeding out into altcoins just a little bit here. Um, <clears throat> XRP is up, and I think it's going to do some major movements here as that Spark token airdrop comes in. VeChain is up. Ave is up. Let's see any major pumps. Sushi. Sushi Swap is being integrated in a yearn. That's awesome. Block stack. Yeah, so there's, there's a couple coins up here. Hopefully, Bitcoin can break that resistance level, guys. And I'm not going to hold you too much longer. I love each and every one of you. Don't let your memes be dreams, and I will talk to you tomorrow.